fly for hours, and it's just a carpet of green. The Amazon is the largest contiguous tropical forest in the world. The Amazon is the greatest expression of life on Earth, and you just feel life everywhere. But the Amazon is more than just a vast storehouse of biodiversity. It plays a critical role in regulating global climate, holding massive amounts of carbon, and emitting 20% of the world's life-giving oxygen. 50% of the biomass of a tree is carbon. When you slash and burn, the carbon is released to the atmosphere. It's estimated between 10 and 15 billion tons of carbon every year. Or about the same amount released by every car, truck, bus, ship, and plane in the world. Today, nearly one-fifth of the rainforest has been cleared to feed global demands for commodities like timber, soy, and beef. Scientists fear that if we lose much more of the forest, we will reach a tipping point that will make the damage irreversible. The problem is that we don't know exactly where this tipping point is. It's not there yet, but we are very close, so we better stop this process and not wait to pay the bill. Until recently, there was little to stop the destruction of the Amazon. It was hard to get up-to-date information about deforestation. Few people understood the economic value of a standing forest. And some of the best stewards of the Amazon, indigenous tribes, had minimal land rights. But social entrepreneurs across the Amazon have been developing unique approaches and partnerships to save the forest. Some of the most successful are Martin van Hildebrand of Gaia Amazonas, as well as Mark Plotkin and Liliana Madrigal of Amazon Conservation Team. When we started Amazon Conservation Team, we looked at the map of the Amazon. We saw that 25% approximately of the forest were in the hands of indigenous people. And so we saw a huge opportunity there to work and empower the people who made those forests their home. Amazon Conservation Team, or ACT, helped pioneer the use of mapping technologies with indigenous tribes. We've helped them map 70 million acres. This is a way that they can show the boundaries of their ancestral territories. One of these tribes was the Surui, an indigenous people in Brazil whose land had come under threat. ACT introduced the Surui to Google, which trained them to use Google Earth to help them tell their story and protect their land. Having a map that he basically has their entire cultural DNA, you have a way of starting to negotiate with a government or a company that's trying to come in and use the resources that are in your territories. In neighboring Colombia, Martin von Hildebrandt started fighting for indigenous land rights in the mid-1970s. In the mid-1980s, the Colombian government appointed him head of indigenous affairs, providing an unprecedented opportunity. We soon realized that the first step that had to be taken was get the land. We went for the whole east of the Colombian Amazon. We went for 20 million hectares, and now we have 24 million hectares. That's 60 million acres of land, which is now actually owned by indigenous people, or about one-fifth of the entire country of Colombia. Together, ACT and Gaia Amazonas are showing that the best stewards of the forest are the people who live in it. But stopping deforestation requires more than just enabling indigenous tribes to protect their lands. In Washington, D.C., another social entrepreneur is working on bold new ways to make saving the forest as profitable as cutting it down. When we launched Forest Trends, we knew that the end game for, for forest conservation globally was when we could make the forest as valuable as all of the things that threaten the forest. It was exactly the kind of solution that could help tribes like the Surui. Para nossa visão indígena, floresta é um único é uma das é, uma das é, papel que pode trazer a clima normal. 
working with Forest Trends, the Sudoe learned that they could get paid for the carbon stored in their forest through a financial mechanism known as Red Plus. Red Plus is one of several initiatives designed to reward people who reduce emissions from deforestation and degradation. It directs funds from countries that emit a lot of carbon to projects that conserve carbon. Sudoe would be compensated for all of their efforts over the last decades to preserve their forest uh, in spite of the pressure to convert it. But the fight to preserve the forest on public land and in protected areas is only part of the Amazon story. The greatest threat of deforestation is now on private land. A case in point, the northeast Brazilian state of Pará, specifically the sprawling county of Paragominas, where by 2008, more than half of the rainforest had been cut down. Dezenas de serrarias, extração madeireira ilegal, não havia a preocupação ambiental. Era uma cidade em crescimento, mas em crescimento desordenado, é, sem é, buscar a sustentabilidade. Paragominas, in the 80s, was the place where you produce more timber in the whole world. 400 sawmills in the region, most of that operating illegally. But even worse than illegal logging was the damage caused by cattle ranching. A pecuária sempre foi a atividade que estava muito ligada a desmatamento, porque é muito mais barato você ir na floresta do que recuperar essas áreas já degradadas. In 2008, the Brazilian government intervened to protect the forest. Então resolvemos tomar uma série de medidas, e uma delas foi fazer uma lista dos desmatamentos que ma dos municípios que mais desmatavam na Amazônia. One of them was Paragominas. The government restricted its access to credit and banned the sale of any beef that didn't meet tough new standards that protected the rainforest. The mayor responded swiftly. The mayor brought together business, the entrepreneurs, the syndicatos, the church, and said, listen, are we gonna do nothing or are we gonna try to leave this blacklist and try to make um, a difference in the story? Everybody wants to say, what's the solution? Solutions say, you have to stop deforestation. And that's exactly what the citizens of Patagominas decided to do. For help, they turned to another pair of social entrepreneurs, Beto Verissimo and Carlos Sousa of Amazon a pioneering organization that had been founded 20 years earlier. Back in 1988, there was a big fight among people that want to defend the forest and the people want to burn the forest. And we feel that was a lack of a group that works as an honest broker and provides information. What we bring to the table is in the capacity to put people together to find solutions. One of Amazon's key innovations is the way it uses satellite imagery to fight deforestation. We developed techniques to enhance the detection of degradation caused by logging. We take daily images and then we detect deforestation in a near real time fashion. O Amazon foi fundamental porque nós precisávamos monitorar se havia ou não desmatamento, se as pessoas estavam cumprindo. E como é que a gente monitora um município com 20 mil quilômetros quadrados? Um município que tem extensão do tamanho da Bélgica, de um país. Armed with Amazon's information, the mayor closed hundreds of illegal logging companies, seized trucks, and exposed lawbreakers in the national media. Meanwhile, the government's beef embargo was also having an impact. Pela primeira vez, os produtores rurais da Amazônia sentiram a força forte do Estado no cumprimento da lei. The pressure forced ranchers to find new ways to produce beef without destroying more forest. Hoje, né, grande parte dos pecuaristas da região sabem que seu produto só vai sobreviver no mercado nacional e no mercado internacional se eles estiverem comprometidos com a questão ambiental. And modern particle board factories like this one, which use sustainably grown lumber, replaced illegal logging operations, creating 1,500 new jobs. Thank you.
So just two years after being put on the blacklist, Patagominas became the first county to get off it, virtually eliminating deforestation. Paragominas provou que é possível sim na Amazônia é, desenvolver, ter é, atividades sustentáveis, viver com dignidade sem destruir o verde, sem destruir a natureza. Thanks to partnerships like the ones Amazon helped forge in Paragominas, the county that was once infamous for its wanton destruction of the forest is now being hailed as a model. Today, Amazon has begun working with the governor of the state of Pará to spread this model to 90 other counties throughout the state, an area three times the size of California. O que é importante que a gente agora mais do que nunca é de difusão a isso. E sem dúvida alguma, eu não tenho dúvida que assim como as coisas más, elas tendem a contaminar, as coisas boas contagiam. E eu tenho certeza que nós vamos contagiar isso, o Pará e a Amazônia. É difícil parar o desflorestamento, mas nos últimos cinco anos, o Brasil conseguiu uma redução de desmatamento de 80%. Its progress made possible by the combined efforts of social entrepreneurs, government agencies, private enterprise and other organizations. Working in tandem, they've helped secure land rights for indigenous people, provide up-to-date information about deforestation, and compensate people for protecting the forest. Today, the dramatic decline in deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon stands as the single greatest reduction of carbon emissions ever achieved by humankind. I think the future is very promising because deforestation is under control and it's declining in Brazil. And I think this is possible to, to be replicated in other countries. But the fight against deforestation is far from over. Changes in laws could reverse recent progress, and the Amazon itself remains at a tipping point. We know that we are running against time. The next 10 years is going to be critical. 10 years from now, I hope we can have 80% of the Brazilian Amazon territory covered by forest. And that 20% is going to be used for agriculture, for cattle ranching, for mining, for reforestation. And you're going to live in a place that people respect the law, the economy is growing, and at the same time, the forest is protected. Mas o importante, mais do que nunca, como a lógica é a parceria, nós precisamos contar cada vez mais com parcerias que ajudem a difundir isso em toda a Amazônia e, sem dúvida, ganha a Amazônia, ganha o Brasil e ganha o planeta.